But there is an amazing ant impersonating caterpillar who actually gets away with it. What? How hard can fooling one ant be? Oh, what's this? Looks kind of funny, but it smells like an ant to me. It might not look like one, but it smells exactly like a real ant larva, thanks to a special scent it secretes. An anty there is completely fooled? Meanwhile, it's party night back in the ant colony. Good little anty. I'll feed you, and protect you, and call you George. How would you like that? You sure are big for an ant, though. Thanks to the protection of the unsuspecting ants, the colony is a safe place for the caterpillar to undergo its metamorphosis. It cocoons, then emerges as a butterfly. Hey, little buddy. What happened? You came out all funny. The butterfly has now lost its imitation ant smell. Time to escape before the ants attack. Where you going? Are you sure you're an ant? If I hadn't smelled you myself, I think you were a butterfly or something. Ready. Finally making your movie without your tooth, huh, Henry? Nope. Preparing for my role. Revisiting my past screen triumphs. Watching some old home movies, in other words. Ahem. Lights. Camera. Action. Wow. You've really changed a lot since then. He's not the only one. Yeah, look at me. I was a teensy weensy little itty bitty baby Henry. Oh yeah, you sure were different Henry. You had no teeth, you made a lot of noise, you didn't let anyone play with your toys, and you were so well behaved. Hey, excuse me. Uh, on the other hand, maybe you haven't changed that much after all. You'll see when my movie's a box office smash. I hope you're right. But you won't be the first animal to make a big comeback, Henry. Britain's peppered moth has always relied on its camouflaging ability to match the color of the birch trees it calls home. Until one day... Pollution came along. I knew it! The spread of coal-burning factories around 100 years ago started to cause serious changes in the environment. The birch trees, which the moths had adapted to, became darker. Thanks to all the smoke, the moths stuck out like a sore thumb. This made them vulnerable to predatory birds. You might as well sit on a plate with a sign saying, Eat me! They would have been wiped out if it weren't for a few unique moths who luckily came out a little bit darker than their parents. Very good. While the light ones were gobbled up in the millions, the dark ones slowly increased their numbers till it was thought there were no light ones left. Until recently, right? Right. Now there's less coal pollution and the trees are slowly getting lighter again. Dark peppered moths are now living side by side with their lighter cousins. And the birdies can choose white meat or dark meat. They all come extra crispy. Hi there, cousin. If he can be a quick change artist, then so can I. I don't need to wait for a new tooth. I can have one right now. Charming. Charming. Can you see that? That was amazing! 
Oops. Back to the drawing board, Henry. It looks like my teeth have landed in a load of bird droppings. Those are caterpillars pretending to be bird droppings. Kids today. We were happy being knights or cowboys. This is no game, Henry. They can change into poisonous mode with one toxic squirt. Yeah. Cuttlefish make incredibly fast color changes. Wow, how does it do that? It's got sacks of electrically sensitive dyes in its skin that change color on command. A handy way to change into your pajamas. Here's a small relative of the deer, which also makes a quick change when there are predators around. It's called the water chevrotain. Well, it might be time to change now. Cause I see a predator. Eagle alert! That's amazing. He just changed from a jungle deer to a submarine superstar. Chevrotains move around on the river bottom the same way a hippopotamus does. He could use a snorkel. He doesn't need one. He can stay underwater for as long as five minutes. Uh-oh. Better stay down there, Chevy. The chevrotain remains still and low, waiting for the danger to pass. There she goes. The coast is clear. The oldest tricks are often the best. Chevrotains have been hiding in the water this way for more than 30 million years. Without turning all wrinkly? That's amazing! Gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing animal changes are... In third place, the ptarmigan. For looking like a fudge sundae all summer and a snowball all winter. In second place, the peppered moth. If only they really had pepper on them, the birds might leave them alone. But for the best overall animal changes, tonight's golden gecko goes to the Galapagos finches. Finches are birds. The Galapagos are some islands near South America. And although they're close together, each island has a very different and constantly changing food supply. So these amazing finches have to change themselves to keep up. On a cactus island, for instance, you'll find the cactus finch with a long beak, ideal for picking a cactus and for picking a fight. When times are tough, it's the finches with the best food-finding equipment that get to carry on finching. Other islands have different foods and different finches. Seed eaters with short, fat beaks. Woodpecker finches use tools to get their grub. It's the way finches have adapted and divided themselves into so many different kinds that makes them truly amazing quick-change artists. They adapt so quickly to get the edge in the food stakes, come back in 20 years or so, and there'll probably be some new finch beaks on the block. If something needs eating, there's a finch to fit the bill. Or a bill to fit the finch. Still worried about your old tooth, Henry? Not really. I've got a new one growing in now. So what's the mirror for? I have to make sure I look my best for my new movie. Okay, I'm ready for my close-up now. And this time, I don't want anybody doing anything silly and embarrassing me. Uh, on the other hand, you do a great job all by yourself. <laughs> okay, ready when you are. Lights, camera, action. Hello. 
My name is Henry. You may remember me from such movies as Henry, The Baby Years, and The Mystery of the Missing Tooth. Allow me to tell you about my life. A life of changes, adventure, and excitement. Get out of my way! Hey! Stop that! Get out of my movie! No! No! No, not the... No! Not the camera! No! <laughs> I guess with some animals, Henry, some things never change. Uh, 